प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन टू गेट ऑल द अपडेट
Let us look into Romans epistle, eighth chapter, seventeenth verse. यो दिवसो आमे रोमी को पुस्तक आठ अध्याय को सत्रा देखिया गाड़ी को खंडा दामी अन्य तो आठ अध्याय सत्रा देखिया गाड़ी seventeen seventeen one seven चलेरी या सत्रा पद देखी मागाड़ी पढ़ना चाहते हैं यार ले ध्यान दिनों उस रोमी को पुस्तक आठ अध्याय अब उन्हीं अर्ले आपना हाथ तीन अर्माती रखे रातीन अर्ले पवित्र आत्मा पाए अब फ्रेडी तले आपना हाथ रखता पवित्र आत्मा पाए दुराय से बन्ने देखे रा सीमियन सीमोन ले ये सो बंदा इतने लाये रुपए आ दिन लाये लाये हो मलाई प्रेरित मगा ऐसे मते फिरे रोमन रोमी को पुस्तक आठ अध्याय को सत्र देखी रा संतान हो वनेता उतार अधिकारी पनी हो परमेश्वर का उतार अधिकारी कृष्ण संग साधे दारी वहाँ संग दुख भोक्षो बने वहाँ हमी वहाँ संग ही माय मीत पनी होने चाहूँ मौ विचार कर चुकी सेवेंटीन ओनली या ओके इफ वी सफर एंड एंडियोर टुगेदर विथ हिम देन वी आर Heirs together with Jesus Christ. यदि क्रिस्ट यीशु संगे तपाईं रमाइले दुःख भोक्षा वने यीशु संगे बसेरा आनंद सा खाने बनी सा. Let us pray. प्रार्थना गराऊं. Almighty God, our wonderful heavenly Father. सर्व शक्तिमान स्वर्गीय परमेश्वर पिता. The source of all blessings. सभी आशीष का तपाईं श्रोत हुनुन्छा. After a short time of lunch break. छोटो समय को खाना को ब्रेक पछाड़ी। We come back again into your presence to study your word, O Lord। प्रभु मित्र तपाईं को बचन अध्ययन गर्न पुरै एक चोरी तपाईं को पास तिथि मा आएका छौँ। Because a man or a believer cannot live by bread alone। किन मने विश्वास गर्ने प्रत्येक प्रभु का जानरू रोटीले मात्रा बाद देनन्। But we live by every word that proceeded out of your mouth। तर आमी तपाए को मुख बड़ा निश्चित को प्रत्येक बच्चन अरु बड़ा जीवन दचाऊं। Dear Lord, we want to live for you on this planet। प्रिय प्रभु आमी यो धरती में बंद तपाए प्रभु को महिमा को निम्ति जीवन चाहन चाऊं। You have given us physical food, bodily food, O Lord। प्रभु जैसे तपाए ले आमी लाई शरीर को वास्ता फिक्री करी करा सारे एक भोजन दिन भायो। But we cannot live by that food alone। तर आमी we want to eat your spiritual food also, which is thy word. Please come down and touch our hearts with thy word. Open our spiritual eyes so that we can see wonderful things, marvelous things in your Bible. तपाईं प्रभु को जीवन दोपहर बाई बालों भाई के एकदमे अद्भुत राष्ट्र रेकार में को आत्मिक कुरारो आज को दिन शामी देखना शक्कर हमरे आत्मिक क्या का कोली दिन और इन द नेम ऑफ जीसस वी प्रे यीशु प्रभु को पवित्र और शक्तिशाली नाम में आमें 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 माय डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स इन क्राइस्ट when Jesus was living in this world in a physical body, 
जब यशु प्रभु शरीर में यह धरती में जिंद हो दुई हजार वर्ष अगि जीजस टोल्ड हिज फलोवर्स यशु प्रभु ने अपना अनुयायी इसी भन्न इफ एनी वन वॉन्ट्स टू फलो मी यदि जो कहीं मैं पछ्या चाहिए देर इज समथिंग यू हेव टू डू तिमी के यू हेव टू टेकअप योर ओन क्रस तिमी क्रस क्रूस बोक्न पर्च दिस क्रस यू हेव टू टेकअप ऑन योर सेल्फ एंड देन फलो मी यदि तिमी मध्य आपको क्रूस को भारी भार आप उठा चाहिए मैं दीज वर्ड्स आर रिटर्न इन द गॉस्पल अकॉर्डिंग टू मार्क मार्कस को पुस्तक में यह कुछ लेखी एट चैप्टर थर्टी फोर्थ वर्ड्स अभी मार्कस को पुस्तक आठ अध्याय को चौतीस पद में यह कुछ रेकर्ड कर मार्कस आठ को चौतीस हिस्सा जीजस सैज यहाँ प्रभु ये इसी भन्न इफ एनी वन वॉन्ट्स टू फलो मी यदि जो कहीं मैं पछ्या चाहिए He has to take up his cross and follow me. उसले आपनो क्रॉस बोकेरा मलाई पछ्याउन पर्छ। What is this cross we have to take up? अब यसको यो क्रूस को अर्थ चाहिँ के हो त जुन चाहिँ तपाईले मैले बोक्नु पर्छ भनिएको छ। Why should we take up the cross to follow Jesus? अनि यसलाई पछ्याउँदा खेरि किन क्रॉस क्रूस बोक्नु जरुरी छ? We have to take up the cross because the master also is taking taking up the cross. कारण यो हो कि हमरे मालिक ऐसे प्रभु स्वयं ने क्रूस बोकने वो तेरे कारण तो पायरा मायने बने क्रूस बोकने पर चाह। When you want to follow Jesus, जब तो पायरा माय इश्वर पर चाहूँ ना चाहूँ चाहूँ। You see Jesus following, Jesus walking with the cross on his shoulder. तो पायरा माय यो देखने पर चाह कि ऐसे ले जा सरी क्रूस आपनों कार में बोकने वो हमें ले बनी बोकने पर चाह। Jesus has a cross on his shoulder. यीशु प्रभु ने आपने कार में तो क्रूस को बाहर रख बोकने वो। And we also must have a cross on our shoulder। यीशु का रिता पाया ना मेरे कार में अपने हमले आपने आपने क्रूस लाई बोकने पर से उठाने पर से। This is an allegorical language, a figurative language। यो चाहे एक प्रकार ले बने बने लंचानिक तरीका ले और को और था दिन को लाई बताइए कुछ शब्द आओ। What do you mean carrying the cross? क्रूस बोकने को और था क्यों तत्� That you should have a golden cross and wear in your neck. Yes, को अर्थ तो ये तो पहले सुन को टू लोग लॉकेट क्रॉस बना रहा ये गाला में लाऊं ना बने जो है ना. Not a cross, an ornamental cross in your neck. कुने पनी धातु ले बने को क्रूस को सित्र या लाऊं ना बने पनी है ना. Let us consider what happened when Jesus was walking to Golgotha. गलगत्ता को त्यों दुखा को बाट वाहर जाला ईशु ले क्या करने वो बनने कुरा मामी केंद्रित हाँ विचार कराऊं जीसस वाज कैरिंग अ हेवी क्रॉस ईशु प्रभु ने देखते मैं गरों क्रूस को बाहर बोक दे उन्हें त्यों एंड व्हेन ही रीच इन द स्पॉट ऑफ गलगत्ता जब त्यों गलगत्ता में वहाँ पुकनु भाइयों ऑन द सेम क तो ये बो आप होले बो के क्रूस माने ऐसे लाइक क्रूस मा नेल किला आलू टाइगर और वहाँ लते हैं जोड़ने आरा अंदर वहाँ ले प्राण बनी त्याग नहीं बनी। Many days earlier, Jesus prophesied that they are going to crucify me। वहाँ को मृत्यु को आगे आपे देरे दिन और आगे आने वाले आपनों मृत्यु को बीचे में भविष्य बाढ़ी करने भाई को थे कि तीन आने मलाय क्रूस मलाय टाग अरे वहाँ ना जो था थियो कि जब रोमी शिपाय ले कांत वहाँ को कांत में जो क्रूस रखी थी ये वेरी ही वाज मेड टू कैरी द हेवी क्रॉस ऑन द शाउल्डर अरे जो कांत में एकदम एक गौरव क्रूस को बाहर लाई बोकाई ये को थियो बोकनु पढ़ने नहीं थियो ही न्यू प्रेडी वेल दैट इन द सेम क्रॉस ही वुड डाइ आफ्टर फ्यू आवर्स और को और था ना That was the altar on which he was to die as an offering और को और था ना आप मरने पर नहीं वड़ा बेदी पनी होते हो क्रूस से क्रूस से वड़ा बेदी को संगीत पनी हो He was carrying an altar on which he would die for the sins of the mankind सिंगाई संसार का मानी स्प्रांड मानव जाति को निमित्त मरने पर ने बेदी को रूप में वाले क्रूस क्रूस लाइफ बोकने वाले को थियो Knowing fully well that he would be Dying on the cross, he was carrying the cross. While I put a rope, my thought was that my cross was going to be torn. So right when he was on the cross, he was walking around, walking around the cross. That shows the readiness to die. 
तेस्को और को और तो इसलिए इस तो कुरा को निर्दिष्ट देखा होता था कि आप वहाँ मरने को लाये तैयारी होने उन्हें बनने को लाये। That shows the willingness to die। और को और तो मतलब वो मरने को निम्ति आप ये चुक भाई कुरा दर्शन होता था। That shows that he was mentally prepared to be tortured and die। वहाँ लाये योग कुरा रामरसंगले था तो कि आप हम पूर्ण रूप में तैयार भाई रा कष्ट शायद रा हम मर गए चुप बनने कुरा वाला था तो। Jesus says if you want to follow me, यीशु लेते ही मानने वाले दिन कोई माला ही पच्चा हो चुका नहीं। You must also carry the cross। ते में सब इले पनी क्रूस बोक नु पाने सा। What is the cross? ते सब वाले क्रूस क्या होता? That was the place of suffering। क्रूस ते ही बास्ता में दुख और अपीड़ा बोक नु पाने था वो। Cross was the place where Jesus, the Son of God, was humiliated. And cross is to thao parmeshwar ko shayam putra yeshu prabhu aaphe lai namra banao nubhaye ko thao. He was judged unjustly. And sansarik drishti maathe waa anyayi poona tarika le waa ko anyayi poona tarika le devaar gariye ko thio. He never committed any sin. Waa le jeevan maa kailai pani paap basta maa garnu bhai na. But he had to take others' sins on himself. He was reproached, he was blamed unjustly. Somebody else has done something wrong. And he was being punished for that. Many times, many Christian believers they face the same situation. तेरे चोटी, तेरे इस समय और वह विभिन्न ठाव और वह क्रिश्चियन दाऊद भाई दीदी भाई नहीं अलविदा इस तरह प्रकार को अनुभव भोगे का सन। They face false charges. अने तेरे चोटी उन्हें लाई झूठो मुद्दा आरो लगाये कौन सा? False accusations. अने झूठो गवाये और दिन सन मानी सने। People will blame you. तब आये रह मलाई पनी मानिसले दोष लगाऊं सन। That you are having a bad character. अंतपाई माती खराब चरित्र का आरोप और लगाऊं ने सन। That you are a liar, you are an adulterer, you are doing something wrong. अंतपाला झूठो बोलने, बेविचारी, मनेरा विभिन्न गलत काम करने, मनेरा आरोप और लगाऊं ने सक्सन। In fact, you have not done anything of that sort. बास्तब मातापाई ने तो कहीं पर काम ना करे को ना सक्सन। And people they they fall on the ground and begin to cry bitterly. अने मानी सरले एकदम ही तिक्तता पूर्ण तपाईं माती दुरुपे बाहर आरोग्यना सक्षण। They say this is not fair। अने उनाले वंचन यो चाइ not fair। Not fair, not fair। ये न्याय नहीं है। यो अन्याय भाई रात यो न्याय भागो सही ना पनी वंचन। I have not done anything of that sort। मालचेस को लाइक एक गारे को सही ना। I have lived a good life। मैंने असल जीवन जिए कुछ। A holy life। पवित्र जीवन। I have lived a very righteous life। मैंने तेरे धार्मिक जीवन जिए कुछ। I did not do anything wrong। मैंने कश्य को विरुद्ध में कई गलत करे कुछ नहीं। But why people are blaming me? कि ना मानी सर मेरा दोष लगाऊं सन। Then people, some Christian brothers and sisters, they they begin to find fault with God Himself। कोई कोई बेला? Christian दाज वाले जी बेला वंता मारा रा। परमेश्वर ने दोष देखा ना पुक्षण। देशे। तो मैं गलत होने जा रहा हूँ। देशे। God is doing injustice to me। ओ परमेश्वर ने मामा ती अन्याय कर दिया उन्हें चपने बनना सके। I am living so faithfully। मैं एक तो मैं विश्वास पूर्ण विश्वास के जीवन जी रहा हूँ। I go to church every Sunday। मैं हर एक सोनीबार आई तबार चौथ आमिने पार मुसलीबार। I I give my tithe very faithfully। मैं हर एक सेवा मार जान चु। अने मैं एक तो मैं विश्वास के बार मेरो दसों आम से दिन चु। I pray and read the Bible every day। हर एक दिन प्रार्थना कर चु, हर एक दिन बचन पढ़ चु। I am also propagating the gospel। अने शुष्क समाचार पनी प्रचार करने काम में मत आ दे चु। I am not committing anything wrong। माइले कुने ही पनी गलत कार्य रुकारे कुछ आई ना। Then why is it people are blaming me? उधर उधर ही पनी किने मरा मारी सदे। I am being insulted in the society. मौसमाद में एकदम ही मानिसले नीचा दृष्टि ले रचन। God is not punishing my enemies. परमेश्वर ने मेरे दोष टा मब्बेर विरुद्ध में खड़ा होने ना कि न डंडा दिनों वन्ना वाले प्रश्न कर। All my enemies, my critics are flourishing, prospering. अने मेरा विरोधी औरों मेरा सात्रों रू मलाई निडागा मेरे तो 
उन्नति in the same manner Jesus was accused on the cross did Jesus do anything wrong no never he, he never did anything wrong but he was judged as one among the sinners he was crucified together with two thieves on the Mount of Golgotha there were three crosses the Lord Jesus was hanging on the cross in the middle on the right side there was one cross and the left side there is another cross and in the middle cross Jesus was hanging on the both sides of Jesus there were real criminals and real thieves and the holy son of God is made to hang with two thieves you know what that means people were telling Jesus you are equal of these thieves you are not a good man you are not holy man you are equivalent of the thieves Cross means uh, unjustful accusation. Cross means false accusations. Every Christian is called to suffer false accusations. Joseph in the land of Egypt in the Old Testament he was thrown into the jail on what charges that he attempted to rape his uh, uh, his, the wife of his master. On the charge of attempting to rape, he was imprisoned. But is the accusation true? It was not true. He never did attempt to rape his mistress. He was keeping up his holiness and righteousness. Many times that, uh, uh, that corrupt lady invited Joseph, forced him to commit sin. He used to say, no, 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 madam, I cannot do this. This is a great sin. That evil lady became very angry. And she wanted to take revenge because she felt insulted. She began to shout aloud and throw false accusation upon Joseph. Joseph 
ठुलो सोरले चिच्या र झोटो आरब लगाइ दियो। What happened? Ultimately, he was in the prison. अने अंत तो गर गर तो क्या बताना था जो तो व्यक्ति का र जेल में बाहर पर जो शेप यो शेप। Initially, before he came into the land of Egypt. Egypt को भूमि में पुकनो बंदा आ गाड़ी। Before he came, Joseph came to Egypt. Yosef, अतः Yosef तो ही मिस्र देश में पुकना आ गई। He was hated by his brothers. आप में दाजु भाई और दरा घड़ी घड़ा करियो। Joseph's own brothers wanted to kill him. अनि Yosef को आप में दाजु भाई ले Yosef ले बास्ता में मारना खोजे। For what reason? Did the brothers have any reason, justifiable reason, to hate Joseph? No, they had no reason. Jesus, um, Joseph did not do anything wrong. But he was facing false accusations and unjustified anger of the brothers. Yosef lai apno daju vayale galat tarikale aarop lagaye ane usmati durbevar gariyo. You know why? Taman daasa kina deshna gariyo? Jesus is showing us this person called Joseph as the foreshadow of Jesus. Taman daasa yo Yosef bani ne bhakti chahi Joseph is the foreshadow of Jesus. Joseph is also the foreshadow of New Testament Christian believers. When, when the brothers were when they were hating Joseph. जब आपनो दाजु भाईयों ले आपना भाई योशेफ लाई घिड़ा करी रहे कुछ है। When the brothers were trying to kill Joseph, जब दाजु भाईयों ले आपने भाई योशेफ लाई मारना खोज दी थी। In the land of Egypt, Egypt मा मिस्र देश मा when Joseph was facing false accusation, जब योशेफ ले झूठे प्रकार को गवाही को पुरुष दबा उसे तो पनाल्टी भोग दी थी वो। Joseph was Carrying the cross. When you come to the story of King David, David was hated by King Saul. Saul was trying to kill David, chasing him like a wild animal. Saul ने राजा दाऊद लाई बार-बार मारना पनी खोज रहा है क्योंकि वो अनि जंगली जनावर जैसे खेतों का जीवन है तो You know why? तब अंधा से कि ना David was facing and bearing the cross. तो उस समय में राजा दाऊद ने पनी आपने क्रूस बोल दिया थियो। Job also was bearing the cross. Job. आयुब को जीवन ले रहे हैं ना आयुब ने पनी आपने जीवन काल में आपने क्रूस उठाए को घटना था। Job was a righteous man. आयुब who loved God, he never practiced any sinful things. A very prayerful person, right in the heavenly royal court, heavenly darbar, heavenly darbar. Heavenly, sorry, darbar sama sambandha. Ah, in the darbar of heaven. Lord Jehovah testified there is none like Job on the face of earth. Such a righteous man, suddenly he lost ten of his children. Seven sons and three daughters, all of them died. They died on the same day. Same day they died. And all his buildings and property, possessions, they were brought down to dust. Not only that, 
He was smitten with the skin disease. The richest man of the land of Uz, became bankrupt, a pauper sitting on the ashes. He was uh, um, um, smitten with uh, such a skin disease that he had no nails, no nails to scratch his body. He took the piece of the broken pot of clay and began to scratch his body. You know what was happening? Job was carrying the cross. But then, then let us look at the ultimate final stage of their life. From out of the prison and jail, Joseph became the Prime Minister of the land. Being, being hated and chased by King Saul, Finally, David became the king of Israel. After being tested by the fire, Job was once again blessed. He became the greatest and richest man ever to live in the land of Uz. How did these men of God come to the throne? Through the cross they came to the throne. David carried the cross. Job carried the cross. And Joseph carried the cross. And Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach, and Abednego. They carried the cross. And ultimately, every Christian, every child of God will have to carry the cross. What is the Christian life? Christian life is not a life of earthly pleasures. Christian life is not enjoying sinful pleasures of the world. Christian life is not satisfying your own sinful desires. Christian life is nothing but carrying the cross behind Jesus and following Him. Christian life is following Jesus. The master is following the cross and the follower also is carrying the cross. When Jesus was here on this earth, people did not like him. They hated him without any reason. Many times he was facing false accusation. Today, wherever Christians are living, they are being hated by everyone. When you want to take a house for rent, they say, no, we don't give a house for rent for a Christian. If you are a drunkard, we will give you the house. 
If you are an adulterer, we will uh, uh, give you a house. And if you have many criminal cases in the police station against you, we will give you the house. But if you are a Christian praying in the name of Jesus, we don't give you a house. When you want to buy a land or a house, they don't want to give a land or a house even in purchase to a Christian. Christians are being hated everywhere. They attend interviews and they are not selected for the job. Even after being selected in the promotion also they are, they are suppressed. We Christians love everyone. We serve everyone. We, we help everyone. But everyone hates us. You know why? In fact, you are following in the footprints of Jesus. Don't be surprised when people are hating you. Don't be hurt when they hate you. In Matthew's Gospel, 5th chapter, 11th verse, kindly read it out for me. If anyone has an English Bible also, kindly you can read it out for me. It's okay, no problem. Uh, you have an English Bible? Please come. 511, 5, Matthew's Gospel. Matthew's Gospel, 511. Please come here. No, no, 511, Matthew's Gospel. People will insult you and hurt you. They will lie and say all kinds of evil things against you. Because you follow me. Then, uh, when, when they do so, you will be blessed. Rejoice and be glad. People will hate you. People will insult you. They will put some blame upon you. Make false charges and false accusations against you. They do all these things because you follow me. And what, when such injustice is happening to you, don't be broken down and don't be depressed and don't begin to cry. Don't weep or cry. Jesus is telling us to rejoice and be glad. Rejoice and be glad. Because you shall be rewarded, a rich reward in heaven.
all Christians learn this lesson. When somebody is blaming you and cursing you or, or, or uh, putting a false accusation against you, what you do is you, you, you tell them thank you mr thank you sir thank you madam please do it more increase increase give me more more false accusations more insult because the more insult you give me, the greater my heavenly reward is. What is cross? What is cross? It is facing false accusation. My translator brother was in prison in jail. And Pastor Diliram Sahab, he was in jail. Uh, we have hundreds upon hundreds, thousands upon thousands of Christian brothers in jail. Why, why were they put into jail? They did not commit any theft. Sorry? <laughs> they did not commit anything illegal. They simply preached the gospel. And they were hated and they, they were facing false accusation and uh, almost 10 days both of them were in jail. Why such things are happening to Christians? Because they have to carry the cross. So uh, you don't be surprised about that. That is the normal Christian life. Every Christian will have to face suffering. On the cross, Jesus was made to, uh, he, was, uh, he was beaten up and whipped and he was made to bleed. As a part of the carrying of the cross, we will be physically injured also. Christianity is not a life of enjoyment. I was beaten up many times. I am not a great man because I was beaten up. There are thousands of people who were even killed for the gospel. Somebody called me on the telephone. This happened in 1990. Uh, in Hyderabad, in uh, India. India ko South India ko Hyderabad mein yo ghatna ghatyo. They called me. Malai phone karne bhayo. They said, sir, please don't come to our village. There is a wall poster that you are coming to this village to speak in a convention. Ani unhe le phone karne bhayo, sir. If you come to our village, we will kill you. Earlier, we have killed many pastors. 
If you come, we will definitely beat you up. So we are, we are warning you, don't come to our village. You know what I told them? You know what my answer was? I said, brother, tell me something new. Kuch nahi baat bolo. This is, this is what I was expecting when I resigned my job to preach the gospel. The Lord who called me to His ministry, He had already told me that I will be beaten up wherever I go. I know you hate me. I know you will beat me up. If my earthly lifetime is over, then I may be killed also. When I resigned my job and dedicated my life to preach the gospel, I prepared mentally myself to die for the, for the gospel. Since the first day of, our, of my ministry, I am prepared mentally to die for the gospel. I went to that village. I had a gospel meeting. And after the meeting, the people of that village, they came and they beat me up. With such um, uh, 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 sticks. There were ten people, ten of them. They belong to RSS. Uh, they beat me up. They broke my skull. And uh, there was a fracture on my cheekbones. And I was made to uh, lie, uh, they left me in the pool of blood. All my teeth are gone. These teeth are dentures, artificial. <laughs> Since 1990, I'm living with this. Uh, I, I, there, was, there was another brother who came with me by scooter. They didn't beat him. They beat me alone because I was a preacher. After they beat me, they went away. And this brother named Aaron, Aaron, yo, yo, bhai ko naam se Aaron ho. he took me to the government hospital. And their doctor said, this man will not live. He will die. He will die definitely. But I said, no, no, I, I will live. I was 48 hours in coma. After 48 hours, after 48 hours, I recovered, I gained consciousness. Doctors came for rounds. My bed was vacant. It was what? Vacant, Kali tha. Kali. Kali, Kali. It was Wow, bed 
Yeah, they came for rounds in the ward. And they saw my bed, his, there is no one on the bed. They were asking the nurse, when did he die? The nurse was saying, what, what do you mean, sir? What do you mean, die? He did not die. And doctor lie, nurse, then where is the patient? The nurse said, that man is preaching the gospel in the other ward. Other ward? Ward, ward, ward. Hospital is a ward, right? Or what ward is a ward? Shoo Shoo Mazar Pa Prachad Gari Raya Chha Bandhe Cha. Amen! Tali Pradar Pa Mishra Bhane Vaat Chha Bandhe Cha. The doctor said, he was very angry. Doctor the very, he was very angry. He was scolding that nurse. To a nurse, he said, Are you gone mad? That man is uh, having a brain injury. There was blood coming out of the nose and ears. That man is in coma for 48 hours. And how could you let him go to the next ward? The nurse said, no, no, that man is very stubborn man. He doesn't listen to anyone. I try to stop him. If I try to stop him, he was preaching the gospel to me. So I, I let him I let him go. So when uh, I heard this conversation, I came back to my bed. These two were quarreling. Doctor and nurse. I went and asked, what happened? What, what happened? The doctor, you have gone mad or what? You have been beaten up almost to death. How dare you go to preach in the next ward? You know the answer I gave them. Dear doctor, if this is the last day of my life, if I should die today in God's plan, then I want to die preaching the gospel. I don't care if I have to die. I don't want to die uh, lying on the bed. I want to die singing praises unto my Lord. I, I, I want to die either praying to God. Or I want to die preaching the gospel unto somebody. These three things. I must be doing any of the three things when I die. Either I must be praying to God. Talking to God. Secondly, I must be talking about God to somebody. Thirdly, I want to be praising God. I must be singing praises unto the Lord. I don't mind, I don't mind dying. But I want to die looking at the face of Jesus. You know why I was beaten up? In the state of Odisha in, in India, 
There was a great man called uh, uh, Graham Strains, an Australian missionary. Thirty years back, uh, himself and his wife, they had come to India from Australia and they had two sons here in India. They were running an, uh, a leprosy home. They were running the home for 30 years. After 30 years of selfless ministry, over midnight, Graham Strains and his two sons were coming in a car. Somewhere he was feeling sleepy. He parked his car on the roadside. And roadside ma waako car like park ganuva. And just taking a nap. Eso jhupnu matte jhulnu matte babdeyo. Suddenly some thirty people, uh, gangsters, they they uh, surrounded the car. Ani tis jana jati ekdom ek gunda arude waako car like here. They threw uh, the petrol on the car. Ani car matte petrol chalke diye. And they lighted a matchstick and threw on the car. Ani. Suddenly, su suddenly the car was in flames. Suddenly, Graham Strange woke up. He thought some fire accident is happening. He thought, if I die, let me save my sons. And then he broke the glasses and threw his sons out. But somebody was standing there, 30 people were standing there. When Graham Staines threw his sons out of the window, these gangsters, they caught hold of the sons and threw them back into the flame. Then Graham Staines understood that somebody is doing this wantonly. He understood these people came to kill me and my sons. He even pleaded with them. You want to kill me, it's okay with me. But it is leave my, my sons. But nobody listened to him. The car was in, in the flames. Graham Strains and his two sons, they were burnt unto death. Why, why this is happening? Because God has appointed the Christians to bear the cross. Not only Graham Strains, hundreds upon hundreds of people are being attacked and they are killed for the gospel. The Christians love everybody, serve everybody, but they are hated by everybody. You know why this is happening? This is nothing but following Jesus, carrying the cross. When this is happening, 
Don't complain against it. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. But be happy. Rejoice and be glad. What you must be thinking is Rejoice and be glad and give a testimony and declare your faith and tell everyone around you I am happy I have an opportunity to carry the cross because, because I am carrying the cross very soon I shall be sitting on the throne I shall be surely sitting on the throne that is what Romans epistle 8 17 telling us. What, what does it say? You shall be heirs together with Christ. Not everyone. Only subject to the condition that you suffer with Christ. If you endure suffering with Christ, you shall be enthroned with Christ. So in following Christ, there are three steps. Rather, three phases. What is the first phase? Being born supernaturally. What is the second phase? That is carrying the cross. Here our message, our meditation takes an unusual turn. All the truths, all the blessings, all the commandments in the Bible, they belong to people at two levels, two different levels. Uh, did you follow that? All the blessings of God, all the commandments of the Lord, they apply to God's people in two different levels. One is the individual level. The second is the corporate level. Yes, Samohik Rupse, corporate level. I'm asking you a question. Jesus is our husband. Is it a fact or not? Jesus he is our bridegroom, our husband. Fact. Is it right or not? Okay. Okay. Now is he our husband individually or is he our husband together corporately? Is not your head individually? No? No? Tell me. Why, why is he our head corporately? 
Because he is individually our head. Please understand this technical point. Individually, Jesus is my head. Individually, Jesus is his head. Individually, Jesus is personally your head. Personally, Jesus is your head. Everyone sitting here says, Jesus is my head. Because he is a head for everyone, he is also the head corporately. He is my savior individually. He is your savior individually. And collectively he is our savior. That is the reason I told you. All the spiritual truths they apply to the Christians on two levels. As individually and corporately. He is, is he my savior or is he our savior? Both are right. Is he, is he my God or our God? Yes. Individually he is everyone's God and corporately he is our God. All of us together have the same experience which we individually have. Now this truth will apply to the cross. This truth we apply to the cross. Ah, yeah, truth. Jesus said, carry the cross and follow me. This command comes to you on two different levels. Carry the cross as an individual. Carry the cross as a corporate body. Individually, every Christian is called to follow the, follow the Lord carrying the cross. When you are suffering for the gospel, when I was beaten up, I was beaten up more than once. On a different occasion, RSS people again beat her up, beat her me up. Then I got fracture, fracture in my spinal disc. That is the reason I cannot stand up for a long time. There is a hairline crack in my spinal cord. Doctor said this man shall never be able to stand or walk. But you know what the Lord did? After the daughter said you will never walk, 
After the doctor said, you shall sit in the wheelchair for the rest of your life. The Lord made me to stand up, walk and run and dance for the Lord. But still, the disc is still injured. That's the reason I am now sitting down. Up to 45 minutes, one hour is okay with me. But more than one hour, it begins to pain. Uh, that is the reason I am sitting down and preaching. And one more reason I am sitting and preaching. Because you are sitting and listening. See, there is a cross for every Christian. When I was beaten up by the RSS people, I was bearing my cross. Hey, I am bearing my cross. In spite of that injury, I am preaching such long messages, you are bearing the cross. So you are also bearing the cross since the morning. This preaching is so long, you know. But don't worry, you shall be on the throne because you are bearing the cross. So, uh, say thank you Jesus for the cross of Ranjit of his message. Are you happy for this cross? Are you happy for this cross? That means you are really thinking it is the cross. It's okay. If, even if this is not the cross, everyone has his own cross, her own cross. Your neighbors hate you. All of us have individual cross. And when I am suffering, you are not suffering. We all suffer different times. When our dear pastor, the translator, he was thrown into jail. Then I was not suffering. When I was beaten up, he is not suffering. There, there are different timings for each one of us. Each one suffers at a different time. 
But listen to me carefully. There is also a time the whole church of Jesus Christ will be made to carry the cross together on a corporate level. Christians all over the world will be made to carry the cross at the same time. That corporate time of bearing the cross is called the Great Tribulation. I think you have heard other preachers uh, preach about that subject. According to the Bible, prophesied in the book of Revelation, there is going to be seven years of great tribulation. There is going to be a time when there shall be one world government. A cruel dictator called Antichrist will be ruling the whole earth. For seven years there shall be a great suffering for Christians all over the world. There shall be persecution all over the world. This dictator is called Antichrist. He will abolish every religion under the sky on the face of earth. Every religion he will abolish. He says there shall be no religion in the world. He will say that no more Christianity, no more Judaism, no more any other religion. He shall rule the world with military power. No Buddhism, no Jainism, no Zoroastrianism, no Christianity, no Judaism, no religion. He establishes a new religion in the world. In this religion, he says, I am the only God. Who is the God in that religion? This, uh, this Antichrist, the world dictator, is declared as God. They demolish every other place of worship. He says, every citizen of the whole world, in every country, come and worship me. If you take me and believe me as God, if you worship me as God, I shall put the mark of three sixes, 666 on your forehead. If not on the forehead, you can have the mark on the right hand. Only those who have the mark of the triple six on the forehead or on the right hand will be authorized to buy anything. 
अनि यदि यो त्यो 666 चिन्ह यहाँ र यहाँ छ भने मात्रै धरतीमा कुनै पनि कुरा किन्न अनि बेच्न सक्छ यो मे बी अ फार्मर तपाई किसान हुन सक्नुहुन्छ यो मे बी ह्याभिंग अ वर्कशॉप एन्ड इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट तपाईसँग कुनै पनि औद्योगिक कुराहरु अनि अनि तपाईसँग तपाईसँग के औद्योगिक कुरा यो 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 मे बी रनिंग अ होटल होटल सञ्चालक हुन सक्ला इफ यु प्रोड्युस सम फूड आर्टिकल्स और आर्टिकल्स टु युज इन इन द हाउस होल्ड आर्टिकल्स घरमा तपाई कुनै पनि ठाउँमा प्रयोग गर्ने तपाईले खानाहरुको प्रकार बनाउन सक्नु होला यु क्यान नॉट सेल योर आर्टिकल्स तपाईले आफूले निर्माण गरेको कलाहरु पनि तपाईले बेच्न सक्नुहुन्छ इफ यु वांट टु सेल एनीथिंग यु शुड हैव ट्रिपल 6 ऑन द फोर नो र बेच्न चाहनु हुन्छ भने चाहिँ If you want to buy anything, you should have the triple six mark. For men, the the children are hungry at the home. At home, the wife tells uh, the husband, "Please go bring some chawal or some food articles. Our children are hungry." This man goes to the supermarket. He says, "Sir, give me ten kilos of rice." The shopkeeper says, "No, sir, I cannot sell you. I cannot sell any any rice to you. I cannot sell anything to you." Because there is no mark of the beast on your forehead. Anyone, anywhere in the world, cannot sell anything, cannot buy anything without the mark of the beast. When this happens. Only those people who worship the beast, worship the antichrist, they will have some food to eat. Just let you, those two pastors go chat later. Christ Birodi go seva garsa. Usne matai kin mein garna khana paun. But all the true Christians who are born of God, born again in God's family. अरे सात सच सच्चाई विश्वासी जो जो परमेश्वर के राज्य में नया गरीब जन्मे को था, they will refuse to worship this antichrist. इन्हें अरे क्रिश्चियन विरोधी को आराधना करने इनकार करने था। they say no, we won't worship. You are not God. अरे उन्होंने बनने था, अरे तीन लाइन आराधना करते ना हो, कि ना Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is our God. यीशु मात्र है हम लोग परमेश्वर के साथ। we worship only Jesus. We don't take your mark on the on the forehead or on on the right hand. Then the antichrist will throw them into jails. They beat them up like anything. Physically torture them. And many lakhs upon lakhs of people will be beheaded. Their heads will be cut off. Lakh, lakh, many, many, many Christians will be killed for their faith. Bishwas ko karan ne kara thera ek Christian la jo thera sahit banaye tha. This is the Church of Jesus Christ. Corporately bearing the cross. अरे यो तो है यीशु क्रिस्ट को मन्ना ने सामूहिक रूप में नहीं दुखा रखा उस टक्कर भगाई द्वारा भारत जाने था. Jesus said, carry your cross and follow me. यीशु ने भन्नु वो आपनों क्रूस वगैरह मलाई पच्चाऊं. You must be carrying the cross individually. तब आए ले आपने व्यक्तिगत क्रूस शरू बोके को उन्होंने उन्हें. And you must be carrying the cross corporately. अंतिम तो तब आए ले सामूहिक रूप में पनी. When you are suffering in your own hometown, that is the individual cross. When the Antichrist is ruling the whole world, that is the corporate cross. We must be willing to carry the cross individually. अब आइए ना मैंने व्यक्ति का तुरुप में अपने क्रूस बोक रही चुप होने पड़ रहा था। And we must be also willing to carry the corporate cross। इस पर जी शाम हो एक तुरुप में अपने तो आइए ना क्रूस बोक ना तैयार होने पड़ता है। Now there are many preachers who tell you that Christians will not go through great tribulation। 
तपाई र मलाई कति जना प्रचारकहरुले यसो पनि भन्न सक्छ क्रिश्चियनहरु चाहिँ महा संकष्टको बाटो भएर जानु पर्दैन पनि भन्न Many people tell you that the church will be raptured before the tribulation starts धेरै इसाईहरुले भन्न सक्छ मण्डले चाहिँ tribulation भन्दा अगाडि नै उठाइने छ पनि भन्न That is not the truth त्यो वास्तवमा सत्य नहुन सक्छ Christians will not be raptured before antichrist comes अनि एन्टीक्राइस्ट आउनु भन्दा अगाडि मण्डली रैप्चर हुने छैन वी विल बी रैप्चरड विल बी रैप्चरड हामी उठाइने छौ रैप्चरमा आफ्टर वी सफर 42 मन्थ्स अंडर एन्टीक्राइस्ट एन्टीक्राइस्ट क्रिस्ट विरोधीको मुनि रहेर 42 महिनाको दुख कष्ट भोगिसकेपछि मात्रै मण्डली माथि उचालिने आई वांट आवर पास्टर्स टु रीड from Nepali Bible one verse from the book of revelation 13th chapter book of revelation 13 yeah 13th chapter 7th verse seven yeah prakash ko pustak 13 adhyay ko 7 ma lekhera rahnus pa padnus pani sangai 13 ko 7 ma yesto lekhera cha prakash 13 ko 7 ma ani yeslai santar sanga lai garna ra tinela jitna anumati diyo सबै कुलहरू मानिसहरू भाषाहरू जातिहरूमाथि त्यसलाई अधिकार दियो र पावर इज गिभन अनटु हिम टु मेक वॉर विद द सेंट्स सन्तहरूको विरुद्धमा लडाई लड्नको निम्ति उसलाई शक्ति पनि दिएको छ हेर्नुस् टेल मी एन्टीक्राइस्ट इज कमिंग टु मेक वॉर विद हुम भन्नुस् मलाई एन्टीक्राइस्ट अथवा क्रिस्ट विरोधी चाहिँ कोस कसको विरुद्धमा शासन गरेर आउँछ विद हुम ही शल मेक वॉर If there is a rapture before the Antichrist comes, Revelation 13:7 is a lie. यदि यीशु क्रिस्ट को एंटीक्राइस्ट अथवा क्रिस्ट विरोध आवन आवने मंडल निमाती उचालियो बने तेरा आदेश को सात प्रत्येक झूठो होने चाहिए। यो पॉल। He cannot make war with the people in heaven. लड़ाई Jesus said in John's Gospel, 16th chapter. Yes, so Prabhu ne yahan na kapus tak swara adhyay ma bannu ba. 33rd verse. Tevi. 33 pad ma bannu ba. There shall be tribulation for you in this world. Ani yo dharti ma yo sansar ma timro viruddha ma dheri kharaab purar hone cha, ta satamar hone cha. There shall be persecution for you in this world. But take courage. I have overcome the world. So there is going to be worldwide persecution for Christians. What happened to me? What happened to your pastor? What happened to Paul in the first century will happen to every Christian. अहिले जे जे मलाई जे भयो तपाईको पास्टरलाई हाम्रो वरिपरि जे भयो पहिलो शताब्दीमा जे जे भयो त्यो सबै कुरा वास्तवमा हुने नै छ भनेर पहिले नै भन्नु भयो आर यू रेडी टु सफर फिजिकल परसिक्यूशन प्रश्न यो के तपाई शारीरिक रूपमा पनि शताब्दीलाई सहनको लागि तयार हुनुहुन्छ वी मस्ट बी रेडी टु लिव फॉर क्राइस्ट हामी ख्रिस्टको निम्ति जिउन तयार हुनुपर्छ वी मस्ट आल्सो बी रेडी टु डाई फॉर क्राइस्ट Only then you are qualified to sit on the throne. Only but that, the Almighty Son of God, the Ima Imam, bow down before Him. Let us get ready to go to the throne through the cross. About cross go back to where now. Let us pray. Let us pray and tell God to prepare us. We need the power of the Holy Spirit to bear the cross. 
We need the power of the Holy Spirit to suffer for the gospel. Only the people who are filled with the Holy Spirit will have the courage to suffer the cross. If you are not born again in God's family, today is the day of your salvation. If you are born again, you are an heir of Christ together with Christ to sit on the throne. But the only way you can reach the heavenly eternal kingdom is through the cross. Tell, tell Jesus about your resolution, your decision. Tell Jesus, Lord Jesus, I am ready to suffer for you. I am ready for the great tribulation. I am ready for the worldwide persecution. Through the road of the persecution, I shall sit on the throne. O Christian, make me ready to live for Jesus. Make me ready to preach the gospel to everyone. Make me ready to die at any time. Lord, I want to reach the throne where you are sitting. Lord, Holy Spirit, come and strengthen me. Continue to pray, pray, pray. The Lord is walking in our midst. The Lord wants to touch you this evening and strengthen you. The Lord wants you to become a strong Christian like Saint Paul. Let this be the time of prayer. Let this be the time of rededication. Please. Please like, subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the updates.